very very good morning children how are you all i uh, hope you are really doing good hope you are following the classes which are being conducted online and also uh, i i feel you really listen the class of uh, yesterday's session that is on water pollution okay so when you come to the water pollution we have seen that what are the different causes of the water pollution and how uh, the water what is water pollution what are the water pollutants and all so today what we are going to discuss is all about the different kinds of pollutants which are really causing the water pollution so how this water is getting polluted every day there are lots of reasons behind this for example if we take the biodegradable wastes okay biodegradable wastes are those wastes which are basically coming from the animals and also the human waste so whatever the animal waste is there and whatever the human waste is there when it goes and enters into the water that is dissolved into the water and that is actually forming the biodegradable waste so the biodegradable waste is basically caused by the animal and also the human waste okay they enter into the water and that is how they are polluting the water now apart from that apart from that you know what have what's happening here is see the energy this bio waste and all the when they enter into the water they are giving a kind of energy to the bacteria which are present in the water so all the bacteria now they start increasing in their number so when they increase in their number okay uh, what happens is the like you no know, the population of the bacteria increases the Num the amount of oxygen will decrease because they will be taking the amount of oxygen. That is the first thing. Second thing is that whatever the organic carbon which is there in the human waste and all like they will produce the carbon dioxide and also the water and which is actually polluting the atmosphere and also at the same time it is also resulting in the acid rains. So apart from that, there are a lot of bacteria which are. Like you no, know, they will increase in their number. They will increase in their number, and now a particular time will come where the number will be increased in such a way that they will start consuming the complete oxygen in the water. So, what will happen if oxygen is consumed? What will happen if the oxygen is consumed? If the oxygen is consumed, you know what happens? The animals, or you can see the fishes, the aquatic life which is living in the water, whether it is plants or whether it is animals. they will start like you no know, they will have the problem and they will not get the right amount of oxygen so that's why there are maximum chances that all these organisms which are active act, uh, aquatic organisms like you no know, they will be dead so all these bacteria are actually killing the aquatic organisms because they are taking the or they can say they are consuming the amount of oxygen so if the oxygen is uh, taken you no know, like then what will happen then the aquatic life will be affected aquatic life in the sense here you can take the animals and also you can take the plants both of them will be affected right now coming to the next thing which are polluting the water they are the plant nutrients they are the plant nutrients you all know that the farmers right you no know, they they keep on spraying the insecticides they keep on spraying the pesticides okay and also whenever there is a deficiency of nitrogen they will spray the they will put the nitrogen in the fields okay whenever there is a deficiency of nitrates or phosphate or okay, any chemical fertilizers they will keep on like you no know, they will apply them to the soil and also to the plants so what happening what's happening here is all these things you no know, like each and every like you no know, each and every particle will not be useful for the plants to grow for example if you are putting some amount of nitrogen the plant might not take the complete nitrogen if you are putting some amount of phosphorus the plant will not be able to take the phosphorus if you are spraying the chemical fertilizers or uh, like anything then what will happen is they will not they will not be taken by the plant completely so they will be remains of them they will be left on the soil so what happens is whenever there is a rain and all like right? all these things will be washed away along with the rain so even not only that but also the industrial wastes also will travel along with the water and also they will go and they will mix in the 
lakes or the other water sources okay and also the sewage water which is coming out and that water the industrial uh, waste and also this chemical fertilizers nitrates phosphate okay and also all these things you know like through the rain okay they will enter into the water so that is how they will uh, enter into the water and all these things you know like for example especially when you take the nitrates and all they will they will uh, actually help in the growth of the plants right so now these nitrates and all phosphorus and all when they enter into the water there is already algae present in the water there is algae present in the water and it is in a balanced state but when has been uh, extreme amount of or high amount of the uh, this nitrogen or phosphorus are enter, enters into the water naturally what happens is the growth of the the growth of the algae will increase rapidly so algae will grow rapidly and also so many plants which are the weeds right now what are weeds weeds are the plants which are basically like no grow along with the crop plants but they are harmful to the crop plants because they take the space they take the water okay they take the nutrients and everything and they will not allow the regular plants which we uh, uh, like the plant they will not grow properly because of the weeds because these are the unwanted plants in the crops okay so those kind of plants are there like no uh, they will grow and also algae will grow when algae grows in the water naturally the complete water will start looking in which color green color okay and the water will completely turn into some cloudy right it will be completely beautiful like no transparent it not be like that it will become cloudy and moreover it also will smell bad it also will smell bad so and moreover the decomposing plants and all which are in the water they will start using the oxygen they will start using the oxygen the algae which are here they will start using the oxygen the weeds which are here they will start using the oxygen so when they keep on using the oxygen like this again the same problem is repeated here that is they will be killing the aquatic life they will be killing aquatic life so this nitrogen or phosphorus or water may be all these are very very important for the growth of the plants so now here when they are important for the growth of the plants okay so what are the nutrients here which enter into the which so these are the plants which enter into the water when they enter into the water what happens is they will like no uh, allow the plants to grow pro in a high number so algae and the weeds and all they will increase so when algae and the other plants also when they increase you know what happens there will be a depletion in the oxygen that means oxygen levels will decrease because all this algae which is now increased state they will not take the oxygen so when the oxygen is completely taken out you no know, like then there will be a decrease in the oxygen so we call it as a depletion of oxygen and this stage is called as the eutrophication it's called as the eutrophication what is eutrophication when the levels of oxygen decreases when there's a depletion of oxygen in the water we call it as the eutrophication so and this because of this eutrophication the oxygen levels will come in decrease in the water and whatever the aquatic life is already there in the water the aquatic life the animals uh, like you know the plants and all which are completely depending upon the like you know these all uh, uh, oxygen and all then all they will definitely die so they don't have any other sources to live because oxygen is very important for its survival and now they don't have the proper survival right these are the points and one more thing here is the oil slick oil slick so you might have seen the very big ships carrying the crude oil from one country to the other country from one place to the free place so if one drop also leaks so like it spreads kilometers so there are oil slicks there is a leakage of oil and they will keep on spreading for like no uh, a number of kilometers so and you know what they do they will not allow the sunlight to pass into that so the aquatic plants which are there they cannot survive the uh, conditions of the water will completely like no it will deviate right the proper temperature will not be there okay so again the aquatic life will be in a problem okay so this is all the different sources by which the water is getting polluted because of the biodegradable biodegradable waste from the animals and human beings and also the nutrients from the plants right that is phosphates and nitrates and what and chemical fertilizers so all these are polluting the water okay so now coming to the third one okay coming to the third one 
and here the third one is the heat which is is it's called as thermal pollution it's called as the thermal pollution when basically when temperature increases in the water when temperature increases in the water then the dissolved oxygen also will increase so dissolved oxygen also will increase so especially this will happen uh, if you take naturally like you no know, there are hot springs already there very hot like you know, there are hot springs and all and also there are some shallow ponds where the water levels are completely low so the heat will easily penetrate into the water and will make the complete water warm or hot so now these are the naturally occurring this there's no like no man's human's intervention in that so we did not do anything but they occur naturally but there are some power plants which emit a very excess amount of heat when they produce something so they use the water to cool that heat so ultimately when the water is cooling that uh, uh, water plant uh, the power plants and all so a lot of heat will be generated and the water will become warm and all this warm water no it will enter into the what uh, right water sources said so when they enter into the water sources when like the fishes which are there the plants which are there the aquatic life which is there okay they all they they because see these all organisms will survive at a particular temperature okay they can survive only up to one particular temperature after that if the temperature increases they may not survive they there are maximum chances that they will die so at this at this particular time the fishes and the plants and all they will definitely decrease in the number and ultimately the aquatic life will be reduced if there is a thermal pollution if the heat enters into the water if the heat enters into the water and if the water starts becoming hot then aquatic life also will decrease so this is also one of the example of the water pollution so now coming to the sediment coming to the sediment so now the soil is actually a very good resource of so many minerals okay so many minerals so here what happens is all these minerals like you no know, the what are the minerals which are present in the soil like you no know, the organic matter will be there like right? whenever some organisms die and all so all the things which are there in the organism will come into the soil will be will the organism will get decomposed and uh, all the minerals and the uh, salts and everything will be added back to added back to the soil so now all these are whatever the uh, minerals and salts and everything is there organic matter is there that will be washed away by the rains when the rains come they will be completely washed away and within no time they will come into the water okay so all these like you no know, whatever the things like for example you can take the agriculture so the remains of the agriculture so if the construction is going on it may be cement or it may be sand or it may be the bricks uh, soft uh, soil from the bricks and also all these things you no know, like they can enter into the water and even the water which is in the water locked areas and also because of the flooding and when flood comes they will they will wash away all the things even houses and whatever the things which are there in the house everything will be washed away by the uh like no uh, what do you call cyclones and the floods and also when they all these things you know, like go and they will get uh like mixed up with the water so that is how even the water is also getting polluted water is also getting polluted so and you know they, like there are some hazardous chemicals which are there hazardous chemicals that means which are really very 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 like you no know, harmful to the human beings also plants even the animals also so like you no know, the acids or the alkalis or the metals and the arsenic lead the mercury cadmium cadmium so all these things you no know, like so whenever whenever like uh, whenever there are rains and all like uh, so uh, all those will enter into the water and even the washing powder which we are using okay the soaps which are using the shampoos which are using the lotions which are using and the Uh, liquid which are using to wash your uh, washrooms or toilets and also all these things are chemicals right so all these chemicals like you no know, they will start traveling into the water they will when you flush them out all this water will enter into the sewage water into the garbage and from there somehow they reach the uh, rivers and all so that is how 
all the solvents right used in the toilets or the household cleaners also the one which you clean the floors and also all these things will enter into the water and not only that but also the dyes which we use and the paints which we use and all know right all these are nothing but the pollutants which will pollute the water so everything everything of these all these things will go into the water and that is how the water is getting polluted and one of the very very important thing is that one drop of motor oil if you just put one drop of motor oil it is lighter than the water so it will keep on spreading on the water so you know how many kilometers it will travel 20 liters of water will be affected with only one drop of motor oil one drop if it comes by 20 liters it will it, up to 20 liters in all it will spread so that is how you can, you can understand what kind of situation we are in so if you are keeping if you are polluting the water in such a way then what you will drink and that's the reason why we have given a lesson the lesson name itself is not for drinking so if all these things are there in the water do you think it is safe for us to drink ultimately no okay now coming to the even not in, not only these things and all okay not only bio biodegradable ways are the plant nutrients or the heat and also the sediments and all no like apart from that even the pharmaceutical companies pharmaceutical companies pharmaceutical companies are also like no they are producing a lot of medications right medicines and also all these medicines there are chances that they enter into the water and the uh, lotions which we are using in the soup which you are using okay and uh, whatever the things which we use so I know if they have chemicals and all so once they enter into the sewage water and then into the rivers and all these things will get mixed in the water and that is how the water is becoming toxic and also not fit for drinking and apart from that if the fluorine right now if you are using the bore water you might absorb a lot of fluorine in that isn't it so all this fluorine all this fluorine uh, is now getting added to the source of the water which we drink and that is how uh, so many people are infected with the disease called as fluorosis right where the bones will be weakened where the bones will be completely weakened and ignore like, no, they will become fragile so that very delicate and all so all these problems are there because of the pharmaceutical companies so you can see these are all the different uh, uh, areas where a lot of pollutants are coming out and also they are destroying a lot of water in the surroundings and all and that is why we are talking about the water pollution so now if you are if you are facing all these things now like if you are if you are looking into this uh, situation these are the things which are there in our water so if you if you, all these things are there in the water is that water really fit for drinking is it good for drinking we definitely say no it's not good for drinking at all so that's why we should be extra careful while we are polluting the water so what we have to do what are the measures we have to take so that we can stop this water pollution so how we can stop the water pollution what are the effect what are the measures we have to take what are the preventive measures we have to take and all know like we'll see in the next class and then children see you all have a great day god bless